so y'all see how hard would it be to put fuel in this thing all right hard so you'd have to undo this you'd have to undo this undo that one over there and undo that one over there drop the ramps move the machine that way to be able to open this door up enough to get to the fuel tank see what i'm saying to me that's dollars y'all that's a big pain in the butt if you ask me uh, yeah so why couldn't they just put a fuel tank right here or a fuel cap right here somewhere you know like the takahachi the takahichi y'all see yeah just thought i'd share that with y'all man peace out Good morning, good morning. It is, uh, well, it's uh, Wednesday morning, and uh, Zach was uh, Zach got here a little early today. Uh, we're leaving, it's 8 15, and uh, we are headed over to y'all. See him, man. We going to we going to make, make our first little bit of money with Bobby. We're gonna make, we should be making our first little bit of money with Bobby today. Uh, we, uh, we're we taking a man lift over here just kind of because. Uh, yeah, looking pretty good for me and Zach today. Uh, it's all good. Uh, so we're rocking with the skid steer, the grapple bucket, the flat bucket, and, uh, and the bush hog, and the man lift. Zach's pulling the man lift with the other truck. Uh, should have a pretty good day. Uh, it's, I, I think after we do the... Yeah, it's kind of funny. Mm. I don't like the way that feels, man. And this is a prime example of why... <clears throat> you know, today the way the trailer is loaded... It's a prime example of why I want a machine where I can fuel from the side. Because for me to put fuel in the ball cap right now, I'll show y'all what it would take to do that. And it'll take a lot. You have to unchain all four chains. You have to uh, put the ramps down. You have to move the machine back about two and a half feet to be able to open up the back door to put fuel in it. That's just the craziest thing I've ever heard, man. You don't think about those little things when you're uh, when you're when you're looking at skid steers, but it's a big deal, man. And <clears throat> it ain't a big <clears throat> it's a big deal, man. It ain't a big deal to somebody that that you know that don't have one and don't ha actually have to go through it. People think, you know, oh man, dude, that's that's a minor that's, that's a minor, man. Well, in the grand scheme of life, it's all minor, but it's a major deal when you're out here and you're trying to uh, stop and put fuel in it on the way to a job or something, it's ugly. U-L-G-Y, ugly, ugly. Yeah. Well, I appreciate everybody on the video yesterday. Uh, I had a lot more footage than that, but by the time I got through with my little rant about the dealer and uh, what's, what, you know, <clears throat> what my thinking is and all that, I had already hit the hit the 25 minute mark, man. But we uh, we got to stop and put fuel in the truck. Uh, I got I think I got enough fuel in the Bobcat for this job. But I won't be able to stop on the way home and get fuel because I'll be so the Bobcat will be back at home with an empty tank. And then to do the, another job with it, you got to go out the night before and fuel it up before. Uh, before you load the trailer and everything, so, but it, it, it's a it's a big waste of time with the fuel thing like it is. Uh, when you're 
already paying twice as much for fuel. At least make it easy to put the damn expensive fuel in. I was, I, I'm, I'm, that's one of the biggest pet peeves I have about these skid steers. I never, I, I, I do not understand why. And the cat guy, the cat dealer was saying it's for, uh, the reason they put them inside the back door is to stop somebody from, you know, dumping some, uh, you know, vandalism or something, you know, to stop somebody from dumping something into the gas tank that shouldn't be going in the, into the fuel tank, you know, vandalism or sabotage or something on one, if you leave it out on a job. I mean, all they gotta do is open up the back door and do it. I mean, <laughs> stupid dude. And that sounded pretty lame to me. What do y'all think? <laughs> I mean, the cat salesman actually told us, said that to me. And you would think that these salesmen would know every, if I was a salesman of anything, right, I would know every good and bad thing about these machines. And I would, I, and I would know every good and bad thing that every customer has said to me over the years of me being a salesman. I would know all the ins and the outs, right? All the ins and the outs. These salesmen act like they don't know, like, I can't believe that nobody has ever asked them that. He had like, that was just, well, I have no idea, you know, that's, uh, I never really thought about that. I can't believe nobody has ever. I guess people that are buying skid steers got that have got a got a, a thousand gallon tank at home that they. What about the small guy, the guy that don't, that don't have that tank that's got to stop and get fuel like most people. So either I'll have to pull off of this job and leave an attachment or something there to go get fuel and then go back to this job and load up, or I'll have to bring the skid steer home. Uh, low on fuel and then for the next job I'll be faced with the same you know with having to stop and get fuel somewhere it's okay if you ain't got no attachments with you or if you just got a bucket with you it's okay so they asked us if we would change the light couple of light bulbs out on the corner of the house here all right turn it to the basket All right. Okay, so. Okay, y'all, so what we're doing here is uh, we're gonna be trimming that tree off the corner of the house there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Uh, then we're gonna clean up this tree right here. Uh, they want a bush hog all this down in here. And it's a pretty severe drop here. Uh, I got Zach started on the bushes over there. Uh, but when you're on a homeowner's property, you gotta be super careful because there's always obstacles in the way. Uh, we got a couple of sprinkler heads here. Uh, and over here on this right here, uh, we killed all the ivy when I was here. Uh, well, the owner did sprayed it so all this stuff's got to come out you know uh, and I have Zach do all that see all of this stuff is just that ivy is just no joke man and we'll bring the skid steer right up in here because they're gonna put concrete right here okay so I'm not too worried about tearing the ground up too tough right here I'll go straight in and just back drag ripping up uh, those bushes and all that and if this tree is staying these bushes are going uh pretty much all this in here is coming out all off the wall and everything so that's just kind of a little bit of the scope uh the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the man lift work done so i can get the man lift uh where i need it to be and zach's doing the bushes i wish they'd not turn the sprinklers on this morning 
Uh, it's been nice, but uh, yeah. So you see this line right here? You always got to be wary of stuff. You can't hardly, I don't even know what that line is, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to get my phone so I can call. Uh, we'll come right in through here with the man lift and the, and, the, and the bobcat. We're gonna try to minimal impact on the ground. Okay, y'all, so this tree right here is the one I'm gonna get. Uh, I got the GoPro going on the other side, so we'll just let that camera get all the action over here. Uh, also, we're gonna, all this stuff that you see in front of the man lift is gonna be gone. So, yeah. I'm gonna rip all that out all the way to that other tree so yeah we're gonna make the backyard a little bit bigger this might this, this might be a multiple day job instead of just one day i was thinking just one day but it might be a multiple day job so i'm good with that so whatever yeah got that tree trim and these folks are really cool man uh, now I'm gonna creep the bobcat right down through here and I'm gonna grab all that stuff and push it straight back I'm gonna set you guys up where y'all can see it I really need to get a battery for you
all right y'all so this is one day over here uh and we're going to be coming back for a couple of weeks main thing is it was to get that tree trim right there get this tree trim and get all this stuff up pulled up so yeah man but you guys see that's pretty much what we wanted to do today uh you know looks good man that's exactly what they wanted so uh we'll be back over here uh right, so that's a wrap over here uh i'm gonna walk up through there but look what you look, look what dummy look look what, look what your dummy ray did i did that man y'all believe that dude look at that crap man that's crazy dude i want to clean that up man i don't even have a backpack blower i don't even know what i got man that's ugly man Man, so uh, it's 3 30, and that's a wrap, man. We're done for today, anyway. You know, uh, thanks a lot, man. It, 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 it's hard, man. It's hard out here, you know. Uh, yeah. I'm just thankful and grateful that Bobby did good today. No issues, no leaks or nothing. So, uh, yeah. That's what we like, man. No problems. <clears throat> well, I tell you, I'm tired, man, for sure. <clears throat> A lot of piling and dust, too, man, you know trimming the trees and stuff so uh, but I, I think that paid pretty good you know uh, we got over there I don't know we got, we got over there around what, 9 probably didn't get started until you know, 9 30 9 45 it takes a while to get everything set up man you know uh, yeah I wish I could stop and put a fuel in the skid steer before I take it home but I'm not undoing everything to do that, so. But they were real happy with it, for sure. Uh, the wife, she, you know, I've been knowing him a long time. And the wife, you know, she's like, well, I know that, you know, well, she's likes to have stuff growing. And, you know, the husband don't. He's trying to get rid of stuff, so. We basically just kind of move, uh, gave them a little more yard. You know, of course, they're going to have to do something with that area. They're not going to just be able to leave it. Uh, they're going to put some grass seed or something down, you know. But that's a real nice property for it to be so boxed in like that, man. Uh, yeah. Well, Zach did good today, and uh, I did good today, and the machines did good today, and everything went according to plan, man. And that's all you can really ask for, man. I got a call from the dealer, uh, you know, from the, uh, from the salesman, you know, on that used machine, I don't know. I'm probably gonna call him back, but you know, I don't. I don't even know if I really even want that machine, man. I don't want. I mean, I don't know, dude. I'm just, and I'm, and I, I don't really even need to be talking about it today because I'm, I'm kind of tired, man, and uh, it'll just sound like a bunch of mumble, mumble, mumble. I'm not in my best right now, y'all. I'm tired, it's hot, uh, you know, even though we made good money today, the business probably gonna profit about, I don't know, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna profit about $1,100, man, no joke, so. <clears throat> yeah. 
That's a good day, man. You, I mean, you can't take that away, man. That's a good day. You know. And I should be home uh, around four, you know. It's all right. I'm just ready to, I'm ready for Sammy time, man. But uh, so far this year, we're doing pretty good. You know, I, I, I have, I did strategically drop a couple of the long customers, you know, uh, and it has freed up some time uh, to be able to do stuff like this. And of course, me and Zach uh, work, you know, but, uh, Monday and Tuesday, we work uh, efficient and everything and to get the lawns to a point where we could do, do this today. I wanted to be able to do this today because that's a nice little surge in the weekly income and you're not burning up the yards, you know? And we haven't had no rain. So it's just a matter of time before the yards start, start they start damn getting funky. You know, if we don't get no rain. But yeah. Shoot. I love it, man. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't, I, tell you what, man, for all you folks that are damn punching in the clock, man, I, man, you gotta, y'all gotta try this out here, dude. This is, I mean, it don't get no better than this, man. It just don't, man. If I had to go punch a clock, man, I'd be, I'd be sad as hell, man. I don't even know that, 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 I don't even know, I don't even know how to do that, man. So used to this out here, you know. It's so gratifying to, you know, to do a job and make freaking bank money and, well, nothing tear up, too, you know. Shit. Bobcat, Bobby might last another damn year, y'all. You never know. I wouldn't have it any other way, man. This shit's sweet, man. It's just sweet. Yeah, I'm working hard. Yeah, I'm tired. And yeah, I'm hungry. And all those things. But if I weren't for the man, I'd be all that too. So I'd be broke. <laughs> you know? I have to go back and do it again tomorrow for the same shit. Same shit, same shit. Tomorrow, we're gonna cut a few lawns. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna make enough to cover the expenses, cover the fuel, and make a couple hundred dollars for the business, and then that's all we're gonna do tomorrow. That shit's crazy, y'all. All right, y'all. Y'all know what it is, man. It's Sammy Time Wednesday, y'all. Peace out.